What's up, fight fans? This is Kurt Deville with Counter Punch Boxing News, and I have some new news concerning Deontay the Bronze Bomber Wilder. Um, <clears throat> this is a topic on Wilder that I wanted to talk to you guys about since February 22nd, and I'm just really getting around to it. And actually, what, what sparked my reminder was something strange on what Ryan Garcia said. You know, even though he has his own ideology, you know, a young up and coming uh, undefeated uh, champion, he had so he said some weird things, but then he said something that really gave me a question mark in my head. And what he, he said that Deontay Wilder told Tyson Fury for a little recap that not even God can save you or something along the lines of that. And Ryan Garcia said, hey, um, that's stupid. You can't say what God can do or can't do. You know what I mean? So he set himself up for that one, in other words. And he said something. He said, the, and then it's like the power went away from Wilder. That's what I want to talk to you guys about tonight or this morning. Top of the morning to everybody. Um, did you notice... If you noticed anything about Wilder, besides his wobbly legs, besides him being winded, besides him being puzzled, why do you think he was like the way he was? What happened in the Dominic Brazil fight? First round knockout, right? What happened in the Ortiz fight? He got outboxed and then the knockout, right? Well, of course, I've asked this question. If you guys follow this channel, I've always asked that about Deontay Wilder. What happens when the punch that he ex expects to land doesn't land? Well, the bigger question is, what if the punch that landed didn't do the job? So the number one question is, does Deontay Wilder have knockout power honestly, truly? Does he really have that knockout power? Is it a farce? Did it go away overnight? Because I clearly remember in the first and second round of their rematch between Tyson Fury and Deontay Wilder or Deontay Wilder and Tyson Fury, however you want to word it, I clearly seen two flush right hands now, at first, I saw it at first. It looked like it grazed him. But then, even with a right hand from Wilder that lasted like that, you know, and, and Deontay, he's perfected his delivery, okay? Because he he came all of a sudden, bow! That right hand was at, at the target. And what did Tyson Fury do? He took it and he kept coming. Round one. He catches him again in round two. A lot of times, round one would, should have been over. Based on the reputation, based on the legend of the power that Deontay Wilder is supposed to have, Tyson Fury is supposed to have been knocked out in round one. When that right hand caught him, he's supposed to have been on the ground. Bottom line, but it didn't. So the question I'm asking, I'm like, okay, did God take his power away that night? Did he just, did it vanish? Did he get stripped of his ability overnight because he landed two good shots? Because I saw that fight at least six times, right? Saw the highlights more than that because the highlights are all over the place. But the actual fight, you know, I, I ordered it here. I supported it. Um, Fox PBC, and I've seen those punches. Those were some pretty flush shots. At first, I thought he went with it, you know, but then he caught him again in the second round. And I'm like, okay, well, well, what's, what's the deal? Is his power still intact? Does he still possess it? Was it a farce? We see what happened in the first fight. He caught him with the, he caught him in the ninth round. Then he catches him again. Flush in the 12th round. So 9th and 12th, he went down. He got two knockdowns from two right hands, two different right hands. 9th and 12th, right? 
first fight. Well, why is it in the second fight? First round, second round, two flush right hands, nothing happens to Tyson Fury. Why? I'm let you guys listen to an article. Actually, this is the video clip of Tyson Fury describing Deontay Wilder's power. Tyson, there's been a lot of talk since uh, since you fought him, and, and he's had two uh, big knockouts and everything, that he's arguably the biggest puncher in boxing history. Even Bob himself has said maybe that that's true. I was just wondering, what, having felt his power, what you think of it and how it maybe compares to Klitschko and other people that you fought. You know, I felt the power ain't so bad, ain't so bad. He can't be the biggest punch in history because he could not knock the kid out, could he? He took his best shot, first round the team and got back up. You know, he punches hard, but, you know, I've never been hit by the likes of someone like Ernie Shavers. I didn't get hit by George Foreman. I didn't get hit by uh, Rocky Marciano or any of those top guys. I didn't get hit by them, so I can't pun them. So if he's the biggest punch in history, I'm not really sure because I didn't get hit by all the guys in history. But, you know... I don't think he punches harder than Vladimir Klitschko. Vladimir has a massive knockout uh, punch. A lot more fight than Wilder as well. 65 contest. Um, make no mistake, all heavyweights punch hard. And they can all knock anybody out. Wilder, I don't think it's so much his power. It's his, uh, it's his speed he runs. Which is, uh, it can be tricky when, you're not, when you don't see it coming. But then again, any, even a guy who's got no knockout ratio, if, you, if he hits you and you don't see it coming... He's gonna put you down, but actually feeling punches in fight. Wow. So that is from uh the 13th of uh February. Okay. Now this was before their fight, so this was a week before they got it on the second time in the rematch, right? And he said, Well, he doesn't punch as hard as people think he is, he just catches you with that shot. That you don't expect. Okay. And any shot will knock you out. You, you, that you don't see. So again. He said Klitschko uh, hit harder than him. Has a higher knockout percentage than him. He can't compare him to George Foreman. Mike Tyson. Ernie Shavers. He can't compare him to those guys. Because he never got hit. So basically. Again. That's Tyson Fury playing salesman. You know. Upselling Deontay Wilder. To make Deontay Wilder look. You know this big baddest man on the planet, then he takes out the big baddest man on the planet. What does that make him? The man that beat the man or the man that beat the baddest man on the planet, right? But in this article or video, he said it's not, he, he, it's not so bad. So again, he did take the punch. He said, well, he, obviously he hasn't. Uh, um, he isn't the hardest puncher in, in history because... <laughs> He couldn't knock me out. He hit me twice and I got back up. So where's the knockout power coming from? And my question is, where did the knockout power go? Okay. Yes, he caught Ortiz flush in the eighth or in the seventh round. But did Ortiz really see that shot? I mean, let's be honest. Did Ortiz really see that shot on the ropes? Ortiz thought he wasn't going to throw. And he threw a perfect shot. Maybe these are shots that he catches you with. The or or Arthur Spilka shot, right? Or Arthur Spilka was going for one of those uh, uh, um, lodging left hooks and got caught straight up the middle. He didn't see that punch. Dominic Brazil, too slow. He didn't even know that, that punch was coming. Luis Ortiz. Now, if you look at the first fight of Luis Ortiz, Luis Ortiz took, he got caught in the fifth round but it wasn't the kind of knockout power that people thought like, ah, whoa, look at that. Because they these were all these fighters weren't, weren't Arthur Spilka. He knocked him out flat. Dominic Brazil, he knocked him out. Dominic almost beat the count, though. But he he was he wasn't gonna be anything. De Deontay would have destroyed him. He would have windmilled him. Or he would have threw the same punch that put him down in the first place. But all these scenarios, these examples of guys that he knocked out. He just didn't knock out solid. You know, not yet. Some novice fighters that he fought early in his career, he knocked them spark out. Malik Scott, he didn't knock Malik Scott out. We don't even know what punch he hit him with, honestly. Bermain Stavern, he had to put him down three times, right? So again, I think maybe 
the knockout power, like Tyson Fury said, and I will agree with Tyson Fury, I don't think it's just the power itself now. It's the delivery. It's the, it, it's the speed. It's the unexpectancy that you're going to get hit with that punch. Okay, because he's, he's quick. One thing about Wilder, Wilder is not a slow boxer, people. So you think he might have lost some of his punching power overnight? You know what I mean? Because it seems like he lost it, like Ryan Garcia said. Like he lost the punching power overnight. Because even if, even if he's not this just devastating knockout puncher, even if he's not that, something should have became of Tyson Fury in that first and second round. He could have, he should have wobbled or reacted some type of way. Bow! He kept coming. All right, come on, lad. Come on. Come on, Yadalsa. Right? And he gave him his own. And was backing up Deontay Wilder, banging him up, banging to the body, going upstairs. And Wilder had no answer. And it was almost like Wilder was thinking to himself, like, damn it, that right hand's supposed to put Tyson Fury down, but it did not. Why? Hmm. That's my question for you guys. You guys let me know what you think. Leave your comment below in the description, by, in, in, in the comment section. Of course, please subscribe. And you guys been counterpunch. Peace.